Hey everyone, I'm Brian Altano, and on today's fix, The Last of Us 2 is getting a 60 frames per second patch on PS5, Jeff Keighley officially announced the full lineup for Summer Games Fest, and it's all presented by PlayStation. Let's get fixed. Again, I'm really sorry about that catchphrase. I gotta work on a new one. I promise you I will. <laughs> One of 2020's biggest and best selling, and yeah, most divisive video games, The Last of Us Part II, just got a brand new big and beefy performance patch for PS5, and it's free. Announced in the PS blog today, the update offers options for 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second frame rate targets. PS5 players will have the choice of a frame rate toggle in the display options menu. Keep in mind, this isn't as big of a leap as when The Last of Us Remastered came to PS4 after being originally a PS3 game, but it's still cool to see Naughty Dog working on dedicated PS5 hardware either way. Other enhancements like better resolution and faster loading times were previously accessible to players who were playing the game on PS5 via backwards compatibility. There's currently no story DLC plan for The Last of Us Part II, although a standalone multiplayer mode is currently in development. Recently, rumors surfaced about a dedicated PS5 version of The Last of Us Part II being currently in the works, but until that becomes a reality, this new update will be the best bet for people looking to replay this game or play it again for the first time. So if you like The Last of Us Part II, go ahead and get your throat bitten out at 60 frames per second. And if you didn't, well, I mean, I don't know, play something else. There's like a hundred games that come out every single day. You got so many options. Do what I'm doing. Play Resident Evil Village on the Village of Shadows difficulty. That's the hardest one until you get to the Heisenberg fight and then die 45 times in a row until you want to throw your controller out of a window. <laughs> Now, if older games aren't really your thing and you're more excited for brand new games to be revealed, well, this summer is already looking awesome. That's because Jeff Keighley has officially announced the date and lineup for 2020 Summer Games Fest, and it all kicks off on Thursday, June 10th, which is really, really soon. God, I can't wait for all this. Okay, so Summer Game Fest kicks off with an opening night event called Kickoff Live, which promises more than a dozen world premieres and announcements from select publishers, or as the Game Awards announcer guy says, exclusive world premiere. World premiere. That guy is like really serious all the time. I wonder if he ever just like relaxes. You think he has a hammock that he just like, he, he should, let's get him a hammock so he can just lay out all summer and relax. He's a world premiere. Very serious. Anyway, Kickoff Live also has an indie game component featuring I Am 8-Bit and Double Fine Productions, and also Weezer, the band, who will be performing a brand new song that is apparently stream safe, meaning you can play it on your own Twitch and YouTube streams without going to copyright jail like you do for most other songs. Speaking of music, Jeff Keighley unveiled a big music festival style promotional image that features tons of video game publisher logos like Outside Lands or OzFest or something, but for companies that make video games. I will now read all of those company names in various efforts to get you hyped or excited or speculating what they could all be working on. So deep breath, because here we go. 2K, Activision, Amazon Games, Annapurna Interactive, Bandai Namco Entertainment, Battlestate Games, Blizzard Entertainment, Capcom, Devolver Digital, Dot Emu, Electronic Arts, Epic Games, Finji, Frontier, Gearbox Publishing, High Res Studios, Inner Sloth, Coke Media, Media Tonic, MiHoYo, PlayStation, Psyonix, Raw Fury, Riot Games, Saber Interactive, Sega, Steam, Square Enix, Tribeca Festival, Tencent Games, Warner Brothers Games, Ubisoft, Wizards of the Coast, and Xbox. Phew. That's a lot. Okay, now keep in mind that just like last year, summer is a whole season long, AKA several hot months in a row. And so you won't see stuff from all these publishers all in one day, but rather slowly over the course of various events and announcements for the next several weeks. Amidst all of that, there's also gonna be an E3 somewhere, maybe a Comic-Con and a Gamescom, probably some other stuff to look forward to. So yeah. Gonna be a really big summer for video games, so strap in and get comfy. Now, in the meantime, here to tell you about a special offer from PlayStation is Damon Hatfield. Call of Duty Warzone is easily one of the most popular battle royales on the market, and right now, you can join in the fight. What happens when Verdansk meets the Cold War? You get a fresh new battleground in Warzone, Verdansk 84, which features seven new points of interest and a lovely springtime setting. I couldn't think of a better time of year to test out all the new weapons, operators, and of course, level up that battle pass. This season's battle pass offers 100 tiers of new content, including access to the newest operator, Wraith, two new weapons, the Swiss K31 and PPSH41, and a slew of powerful legendary blueprints. And even better, 
you can join the fight for free. Just download Call of Duty Warzone for free on the PlayStation Store and get to dropping. And don't forget to pick up the Battle Pass after you download the game. Even IGN is adding to the fun by giving you a chance to win a $70 PlayStation Store gift card as part of our PlayStation Store sweepstakes. Just visit globalstudios.ign.com or check the link in the description below to enter. And don't forget to check out Call of Duty Warzone Season 3. Back to you. And that was your Daily Fix. I'm Brian Altano. And for more news from other corners of the entertainment industry, check out the Daily Fix about movies and TV. And be sure to subscribe to IGN on Snapchat. Follow, like, share, retweet, upvote, comment, download, and also print out our videos to mail to friends and family. Grandmothers everywhere love to open up the mail and get a nice, thick manila envelope full of printed IGN videos. It makes them so happy. They love it so much. It's such a treat. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Brian Altano, and I love you.